Hey everyone, welcome back to Media Block, and today I have another cool tutorial for you guys. And this time I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iPhone 7 Plus like photos on your Android device. Now, if you don't know what you're, what I'm talking about, it's basically that on the iPhone 7 Plus it has a dual uh, camera system where it uh, utilizes the second telescopic uh, camera to get a blur photo or a portrait photo and uh, it looks something like this so it looks pretty cool right that effect is really good so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can achieve this with your only single camera on your Android device now it is possible and uh, this is truly software so uh, most of the people don't realize that this feature exists but uh, yeah uh, today I'm going to be showing you. So all you have to do to get this feature on your device is open up your browser. So for me it's Chrome. So open up and then you want to search Google Camera APK. That's it. Okay and go up to Google Camera APK Mirror. Now click on that and wait for the page to load. Now this is a this is an app that is very hard to find on the Play Store, so uh, it's easier to download it from uh, the internet and do it. So go ahead and download this and install the APK file. So first of all, let's download it. So the latest version is the best. So let's see the date is updated November sixth. So it's a pretty good version so wait for the page to load once the page loads click on download APK and your download will start so in this website you can also download other uh, things that are hard to find for example the pixel launcher and Pokemash and things like that so yeah just wait for this one to start downloading as you can see, it will ask, this type of file can harm your device. Don't worry about it. It's made by Google. There's no malware on it. So just click on OK. And wait for it to download. As you can see, my internet is pretty fast. So let's wait for it to finish up here. So yeah, it's done. If this is your first time installing an APK, then go ahead and click on the settings. I'll open it from here. And go ahead and search up unknown sources. So when you search up that, you should get this with, un with the lock sign. So just click on that and uh, see the see make sure that the unknown sources part of this is checked originally it'll be like this and you should just click on it and say okay and that's it you should be ready to go so go ahead and go to your downloads folder so your download should be open and click on your original download and then just click on install now I've already installed this and uh, for the sake of the video um, I will install it so yeah go ahead and click on install and it should take some time as this is a Google app and it does integrate some files into this file system so just wait for it to install so it should take some time and when it's finished installing it should say um, installed successfully and if it if you have any problems or if it says uh, that it didn't install properly then make sure you leave a comment down below and I reply pretty fast so it, as you can see the camera app is installed and click on done and then go back to your home home screen and uh, yeah now you're practically set to go to take iPhone uh, photos with your uh, Android device now I will teach you how to do this and show you an example so go ahead and open up your camera app so what you do when you open up the app is slide to the menu right here and go ahead and click on and go ahead and click on the lens blur effect so go ahead and focus your image so all you have to do is click 
focus on the image make sure you focus focusing is really important and then click on the capture button and then move your device up and it should give you a tick mark if you do it right so once you do it right go ahead and wait for the image to process now this takes time because the camera or the software is recognizing the background and the uh, the foreground and the background so yeah as you can see it's a pretty good uh, uh, example so you have the option of choosing which part of the image is actually gonna uh, be focused so if I choose something else as you can see my hand is gonna be blurred out but if I choose this I have the ability to uh, see how big of a radius I'm gonna keep to make sure that this image is good for me so as you can see i'm really close to the window so it doesn't look that good but right now i'm going to give out some examples of how it's going to look this video guys i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video uh, if you did make sure you leave that like and smash that subscribe button for more awesome videos so yeah bye